Welcome back to In the Know. We are chatting with Angela Dacey, personal development expert, and we are talking about the healing power of color today. We briefly touched upon marketing and how color really can sell the product or sell the person or the business. Now, I wanted to ask you about non-colors. So like the blacks, the, blacks. the whites, the grays. Right. Um, and how many people do you know that we're all black? And nothing but Lots black. of people. Well, it's very slimming, Angela. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. I like black. But uh, it's really important to bring one element of color in. And the reason being is that black is really no color, where mm -hmm. white are all colors combined. Right. So when you wear all black, what you're really doing is shutting down your emotions and telling people, I don't really want to show you too much about myself. Um, and that can't be very good, especially if you're in the public eye. Mm -hmm. You want to at least bring in one element of color. It could be a necklace. It could be a belt. Something that says, I'm alive. Right, so our good friends at Chatelaine Magazine uh, sent over a few magazines and, and I was taking a look through them and we've, uh, we've selected a few. So oh, you, you know can what? always Here's add a pop of color to your wardrobe, even if even if you're going to wear all black. Can I You've show this it. girl? Yeah, absolutely. I found this one. So, so show it to this camera right here. Okay, so here's a great example of a beautiful black and white dress mm -hmm. that looks really chic and really stylish, but just wearing black and white, again, will cut you off emotionally. And people don't even realize it. You won't be as approachable. But I love how she brings in this kind of teal colored shoe mm -hmm. with a little bracelet. It's just enough to say, you know what? There's some life in me. <laughs> There's a little bit of, of That doesn't of matter what color she's going to pair with the black and white? No, not at all. Okay. Anything goes with black and white. But if you're going to wear, for example, here's on the other page, all the black and whites and the grays. Again, take a look at the people who do this all the time. Usually you're not going to know too much about them personally and they're not going to be um, as open about who they are. So I really believe that especially when you're working with the public, even if you're a teacher and you've mm -hmm. got kids involved, you want to be able to have a little bit of color. It doesn't have to be this much, but it can be just this. Just to right. say, okay, here's a, a little piece bit of, of, of energy. Yes, Some exactly. life into your wardrobe. Exactly. And especially, can I say this, especially in the winter time definitely because you know <laughs> it's so gray and dreary outside and if your wardrobe matches the weather yeah and you know, like you said look at how bright we are for being in January which is great mm -hmm. um, a lot of the times if you're suffering from depression or or you know the sad syndrome you want to bring in bright colors because you want to feel alive again and there's so many ways to do that can, can I yeah absolutely go so for here's it a great example um, you can bring it in through a purse through rings through jewelry um, it could be a color bath which actually I actually have these I love these so you pour them right into your tub so you bathe in purple or you bathe in yellow and you it's food for the soul great gift idea idea too. It is. And what I, I love is that if you have a friend, say you, you know somebody's going through a tough time, say they just went through a breakup mm -hmm. and they're really feeling heartbroken and they need to focus on themselves. Well, pink is about self-love. So can you imagine for their birthday, instead of just getting your typical gift, you give them a gorgeous shirt that says love, you're giving them a funky little ring, and then maybe this cute little, you know, rose purse. And then all of a sudden, not only are you giving them a gift, you're giving them healing and they don't even know it, <laughs> but it works Subliminal out. healing. Subliminal <laughs> healing. Um, whoops, which I absolutely love. Same as if you're going to be doing a talk, um, communication and expression, you might want to go with a fantastic um, turquoise necklace on mm -hmm. that black dress or a really nice bracelet. And that helps you speak clearly and speak with love and speak in a way people will understand and it'll strengthen your throat chakra. So you can use this in a great way for gift giving. If what about like something like this, like multicolored? Yeah, so multicolored is all the colors combined, so all the energy centers combined. I find, again, if you're going to wear black and you have something like this up against the black, you are just completely giving yourself a burst of energy, right? So anytime you bring in color, it's going to add life to you. So let me ask you this. Do you have a favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has to see that, right? You know what? I would say, funny enough, this magenta is one of my favorite, and I do love turquoise. But when I think about it, I'm a very spiritual-based person. Um, Creativity is big for me, and I'm always in the public eye speaking. But it's definitely my two favorite colors. Okay. Well, we have a call. Excellent. Our first call. Welcome to Maria from Richmond Hill. Hi, Maria. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for calling in the know. Do you have a question for Angela? Yes, I do, actually. Um, I'm not a business person, per se. I'm, I'm a toddler teacher, an ECE teacher, and I work with preschool children. Um, and the reason I'm calling is there are three classrooms that uh, I'm thinking of painting, and I just wondered what colors that Angela would think to use. Um, Angela, what... <laughs> 
So it's um, it's a large room, and there's uh, climbing equipment. And the children can run. It's a fun room. Um, another room is a quieter room, um, and the children sleep in this room, and they read mm -hmm. stories. So it's a peaceful room. Okay. And lastly, there's a room that I've, I'm thinking of painting, which um, the children play. Um, they use drama. They can actually do some work as well, some cognitive work. What colors would you suggest I paint those three That's rooms for the children? Awesome Great question. question. Awesome question, because especially with children, this is so pertinent because they're so in tune to color. In the activity room, I would definitely recommend getting into red, oranges, and yellows because they're very stimulating and very active-oriented colors. Okay. In the sleeping, napping room, go for the greens and the blues. It's going to create that oh. <sighs> zen-like zen relaxation feel. And funny enough, you're touching on all colors because then when you go into that creative room, like you were saying, mm -hmm. then you want to bring in those top chakra colors which are purples and it doesn't have to be too much it could be one wall it could be everything's done in a really nice warm beige with one wall and that's enough to stimulate so definitely keep the red oranges and yellows which are considered active for the activity room if you bring blue into that room Maria you're gonna find that the kids just aren't gonna be that active okay and if you bring red into the sleeping room they're not gonna sleep <laughs> so no, definitely that. <laughs> does that does that help answer your question yes, thank you very much that's actually great thank you so much that's um that's great thank you happy painting Okay, thank you. Thanks for calling, thank Maria. Thank you. Thank you. So, red, no red in where you want to sleep. Okay, here's the condition. Mm -hmm. I, I would say yes to that because it is very stimulating, except for a couple of things. If you have an immune dysfunction, if you're feeling run down, cold or flu, and you want to boost yourself, boost your physical energy, then red. Or if you want to really increase your sex drive, blips of red. Hence why Valentine's Day <laughs> has a lot of red. Red is passion. So if you're lacking some passion in the bedroom, throw a red pillow on the bed. If you're feeling like you're run down and you've got a cold or flu, you know, red house coat. Red blanket. You know, red blanket. So you want to bring red in at that time, but if you have a red bedroom all the time, you will find it's too stimulating. Mm -hmm. And you need, to con you need to relax when you're going to bed. I would hope so. <laughs> Well, I, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> or you're going to be constantly awake, <laughs> wanting, wanting to do something. Okay, well, we're going to talk more about interior design, yes. paint colors. That was a perfect segue, Maria. Yes. Thanks for your call. Um, colors to paint your kitchen, colors to paint your yes. bedrooms. We'll talk all about that right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Call in. We're here live all hour.